Before you assume that I thought this race was garbage, this race was actually pretty damn wild for a Las Vegas race in the chase. Light Century is even better than New Hampshire. There was a lot of comers and goers, plenty of lead changes for a shit package, and there were there was actually legit action up front. Oh hey Jimmy Johnson, you're gonna get a top five for this year this race? Oh no! You got fucked out of a goddamn chance of making a decent finish once again! Oh my god! Why in one but one time out of all the races, all the previous 26, they decided to not throw a caution when Jimmy and Alex Bowman wrecked. God fucking damn it, NASCAR, and you and your inconsistent dog shit. <coughs> Good fucking Christ. Why are it's your head straight up where your rectum is? Of course, of course. The one time out of every other race that happened this fucking year, you did not throw a goddamn caution. If you, of course, didn't throw a caution for Jimmy Johnson, what are the odds of that? If it were anybody else, it would be oh so vital to throw the goddamn caution. CC Clint Boyer from New Hampshire, when he always slightly tapped the goddamn wall. I like Clint Boyer and everything he nowadays stands for unlike 2013, but god fucking damn it NASCAR, you and your inconsistent trash, god fucking damn it, oh man, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. at New Hampshire hits the wall hard, oh you don't need a caution for that, oh no, it's not vital to throw that caution, Cliff Boyer slightly taps the wall, oh it's vital to throw that goddamn caution, Copy that part and paste it to Las fucking Vegas. Oh no. You, oh no. Jimmy Johnson pancakes the goddamn wall. Oh, you don't need a caution from that. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Oh fucking no, you don't. It's the same fucking story from fucking Michigan, where he is actually running in the top five! Running in the goddamn top five! Running in the top five! Just like Michigan, Indianapolis, Daytona! It's another race Jimmy Johnson should have finished above the top five or even in the top ten no less in another race that Jimmy Johnson did not end up finishing there. But the only difference is I saw it coming this time because when he was like at least in fourth place with around like uh, I don't know what was it 60 48 to go and was still hanging on with 10 to go I'm like yeah there is literally no way he's gonna thrive at this point. He really isn't going to thrive this madness of a race. And Lord behold, he didn't. He fucking didn't thrive. He did not hold up. He still finished mediocre. He has the speed, but then something worthless, something stupid, something idiotic, something petty fucks him the goddamn fuck over. Oh, God fucking Christ. This, I had about a goddamn enough of this trash. Someone kill me now. Oh, man. You know, this race absolutely was goddamn badass. It was every badass in every meaning of the word. One of the better races of this year, might I add. If we keep, if this package keeps up the momentum for this playoff schedule, I think we're in a... We're in for a good treat. We are. As long as Kyle Busch is in, well, I'm not going to dictate whether a season's good or bad based on at least favorite driver of mine winning, but hey, remember, 
08 and 09 were my least favorite NASCAR years as a NASCAR fan. They were the worst racing I've ever seen in my life, if you don't count 2015. Self-explanatory for 08 and 09 and 2015. I don't think I need to go in depth. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say for tonight in this Shrouds of Shadows. Because that's pretty much Jimmy Johnson's entire season. Being sh his luck being shrouded in shadows the entire fucking year. I can only hope his speed would hold up for 2019. But hey, it's starting to look far-fetched at this point. So, I guess, uh, but hey, almost nothing I dream of comes to fruition. So, at least at this current junction. Good night, everybody. Try to have a good night.